Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I've got such a different kind of book tonight. Really, really fun and special. This book is called Come to the Fairy's Ball. Come to the fairy's ball. Now, you know what a ball is like when Cinderella went to the ball and, you know, they dance and you meet the prince and all kinds of stuff like that. Well, I guess the fairies out in the garden, they have a ball too. And they're all going to go to the fairy's ball. But I think that one of the fairies is having a hard time. I'm not sure what's going on. We need to get into this book and find out if all the fairies get to go to the ball. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we come, come to the Fairy's Ball. Written by Jane Yolen, illustrated by Gary Lippincott. Oh, look, there's a giant invitation. It says, Come one and come all, come great and come small, come winged and come wingless, bejeweled or ringless, come walking or riding, come gawking or gliding, come soaring or sliding. Come all, come all, to the fairy's ball. And look at all the little fairies flying around reading the invitation. Invitations delivered in hovel and hall, in barnyard and arbor, in treetop and stall. They all read the same. Come to the ball. And then what a tizzy, a flap, and a pother, a terrible foot for a swivet and bother. A twitter, a dither, oh my, what a rumble. A fret and a fuss and a fidget and grumble. Where are my boots and where is my crown? And please tell me where is my spider web gown? Where is my top hat and where is my lace? We looked everywhere and there not any place. All the fairies are running around trying to get ready for the ball. Have you looked in the closet and under the cot? We've looked and that's where they're decidedly not. Have you looked in the wardrobe or next to the stair? We've looked and we've looked and our garb is not there. Have you looked in the bird's nest or under the tree? That's not where our best garb is likely to be. Oh! But there was one fairy whose dress was too torn from hanging a year on a prickly rose thorn. Oh dear! Then dressed in their finest in cape, crown, and shawl, the others all went to the fairy's own ball. We're not going to be late, they said as they left the pretty fairy behind. They rode off in wagons on turtles on hares. They were packed piggy-backed into butterfly chairs. Wow, they have a lot of neat ways to travel. They were towed there by swans and they were rowed there by fish. And one group of five got there fast on a wish. And those who had wings flew themselves to the hall. And they all came on time to the fairy's own ball. Except that one fairy, bereft and forlorn, whose raggedy dress hung high on a thorn. She settled herself on a toadstool and wept, while round about her the busy ants crept. Do not weep, little fairy, but do as we do. Work makes max, max matters best. You'll see that it's true. Oh, thank you, ants. The ants are encouraging her that all she needs to do is work. She got up and sewed three petals together and used what was left for the softest shoe leather. She fastened the fringe of a fern for a shawl and late, oh so late, she took off for the ball. She fixed her dress by herself. At the hall, what a clamor, a hue and a cry. What a fairy folk glamor beset ear and eye. There were fiddlers and fifers and pipers and all who were greeting the guest at the fairy's own ball. Tiptoe and heel toe, they dipped and they danced. They shook, shuffled, shimmied, they bowed and they pranced. They trotted and trembled, they watts waddled, winged. They hopped and gavited, they floated and flinged. Wow! Look at that big ballroom. And all the fairies are dancing around having such a grand time. And just when the clock struck a quarter to one, and just when the king announced dancing was done, that one long lost fairy appeared on the gate. Oh, please, sir, she wheezed. Sir, I'm sorry I'm late. 
You're late, roared the king, and the dinner plates shook. You're late, cried the queen as she gave her the look. But the prince of the fairies came down from his throne. He held out his hand to the fairy alone. Before you arrived, I hated this ball. There was no one I wanted to dance with at all. I told both my parents I wanted to go. But mother said never, and father said no. But then you arrived, he said right in her ear. And I want to start dancing because you are here. In the year that soon followed, the two of them wed, and the letters sent out to the fairies all read. Come one and come all, come great and come small, come winged and come wingless, bejeweled or ringless, come walking or riding, come galling or gliding, come soaring or sliding, come all, come all, our own wedding ball. Yay! the fairy did get to go to the ball and she met the prince and he made her dance with him and then they lived happily ever after like it's supposed to happen in all fairy tales she got to marry the prince she wasn't sure she was going to get to the ball because her dress was all torn and then she's like you just need to work at it and she fixed her dress all by herself and went to the ball looking beautiful that was a special story i love stories that end with happily ever after and this was a happily ever after book. I hope you liked it as much as I did, but it's time for all my little fairies to fairies to fly into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow when you're out flying around the garden, playing with all your little friends, I want you to do something really special for your mom and dad. Obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.